Welcome to Halloween Cooking with Melina and Rachel. Hello. What we've got today is this pumpkin. Ta-da! <laughs> which is a giant pumpkin. And we're gonna be trying to make three things from it. So my idea was I wanted to make something that used the entire pumpkin. So we're gonna make pumpkin soup, which is gonna use the insides. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make pumpkin risotto, which is gonna use this bit, the, the meat bit, yes the other insides and then we're gonna roast the seeds to use a seasoning you're gonna have to um carve out the pumpkin and take out all the bits oh lovely smooth circle on top yep <laughs> very nice next up you're gonna try and separate the seeds from all this pumpkin goo it really good. you're having fun yes <laughs> So now we're just gonna have it boil for like five to ten minutes. Next up for the risotto, um, I'm gonna chop this up. Okay, we need some oil and some uh, salt. Now we're gonna put that in the oven for about half an hour for it to bake. Oh no. And then you put oil on them and spread them out. Cool. And we put it in the oven for... We haven't timed either of them yet. 15 minutes! So now we're gonna, for the soup, boil or pop in our um, pumpkin pulp. I have been heating up the oil for a little bit. It was very warm. Um, be careful. Also, we need to chop up some garlic and put in as well, and also some thyme. All of this should simmer for about 25 minutes. Okay, risotto time. And I like to think that since it's pumpkin recipes, it's gonna be Halloween-y. So you eat a lot of garlic to keep all the vampires away. Rachel really enjoyed that comment. Stop. You're gonna chop up your spring onions and you put it in the pot that with good, butter. Right? Yeah, I think that's that's better. We need 200 grams. Now that's gonna be in there for a minute. So we're gonna pour the stock in a little bit of time, just enough to cover the rice. Well, we have some in stock. That's no, baby! Oh. So while the risotto is bubbling away in its very large bath, <laughs> I'm gonna take the pumpkin pulp, scoop it into my blender, and hopefully it'll be okay. Take the creme fraiche. This is, this is not what I know as creme fraiche. This is so strange. should have some pumpkin soup. This is the result. Do you want to try it? Is it good? I'm gonna have some of the risotto too. It's really, really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to try the soup? I'm very nervous about the soup. Yeah. It's not good. Oh my god. Okay, so the soup was a mess. But to be honest, we did also kind of not follow the recipe. <laughs> yeah. And the pumpkin seeds, even though they're still a bit wet, are also really good. So, yeah. well, you need to be less oily, but two out of three, considering our lack of skill. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Editing Melina here. I looked back at the recipe and it turns out we missed a pretty crucial step. We forgot that you're supposed to put vegetable stock in the soup as well. That was definitely our fault. The recipe seems like everything's fine and everything will be good. I also just wanted to say that the reason why I decided to make a video about healthy pumpkin food is because a lot of the food that's like focused on in this Halloween season is sugary foods. Uni can be quite stressful and eating healthy can just be really beneficial for your mental health and help 
you, you know, deal with that stress a little bit more. I know that this cooking thing was a little bit disastrous, but I hope you're entertained and hopefully you're inspired to give some of this healthy pumpkin cooking a go. And if nothing else, I hope this video shows that even us, with very little cooking expertise, if we can manage to make two out of three recipes good, then I'm sure whatever you make will be amazing. Dream team. Ha, ha, ha.